billions of people just living out their lives. Oblivious. After all, there is nothing real outside our perception of reality. Is there? <laughs> you can see that, can't you? There's a war out there, old friend. A world war. And it's not about who's got the most bullets. It's about who controls the information. What we see and hear, how we work, what we think. It's all about the information. to decide what sites you visit and they're only going to allow a couple thousand sites your computer becomes a glorified cable system with only a few thousand websites that you can visit it's a consortium of private corporations universities and government and DARPA making the new internet where you'll have to have a sub website on one of their major websites there's only going to be a hundred of them under internet too and then no more infowars.com it'll be myspace slash infowars.com and they can restrict your bulletins shut you down delete you ban you but the other big way they're doing this on quote free government internet systems is infowars.com and prisonplanet.com are completely banned but not just us even mainline alternative sites you see 60 percent down 60 plus percent down in newspaper readership TVs plunging in ratings the mainstream media is fully discredited they're falling apart 
They've got to do this. They are coming. They're chopping up the web right now. Internet 2 told us the plan seven years ago. And now they're implementing the most egregious forms of censorship and control right now. And if we just accept it, okay, that's the way it is. <laughs> the dominant media largely in vain for journalism that tells the truth about the fading of the American dream. As conglomerates swallow up newspapers, magazines, publishing houses, and broadcast outlets, news organizations are folded into entertainment divisions. The news hole in the print media shrinks to make room for ads, celebrities, nonsense, and propaganda, and the news we need to know slips from sight. So it's up to you to tell the truth about this country we love. It's up to you to tell the truth about what's happening to ordinary people. It's up to you to remind us that democracy only works when ordinary people claim it as their own. It's up to you to write the story of America that leaves no one out. And it's up to you to rekindle the Patriots dream. Living now, here but for fortune, placed by fate's mysterious schemes, who'd believe we're the ones asked to rekindle the Patriots dream? Arise, destiny, time runs short, all of your patience has heard their retort, hear us now for alone, we can't seem to rekindle the Patriots dream. Oh, but perhaps too much is being asked of too few. You and your children with nothing to do, hear us now. For alone, we can't seem to try to rekindle the Patriots' dream. Perhaps too much is being asked. But you're not alone, remember? Am I? Look around. You're not alone. And you know what we need to know. So go tell it. the people. 